how to add a live blur to an edge of a layer in Affinity Photo. Something like that, you can see you've got this blurred edge. Now you can do that with shapes, you can use gradients to create that, but of course with the gradient, unfortunately, of course all the way around, it's different colors, so you can't really do that. But you can get around with it using Gaussian blurs and live filter layers. So I'm just gonna run through that. So I'm just gonna go quickly to my history panel and go back to a reasonable point there. Yep. So you can see layers. So key thing is layers panel. So view and studio, and obviously history and layers. So with that, what you can do, you can go over here and you can see it's locked. So what you want to do is click so it's unlocked. Then you can move it around, so move that. And then once you've done that, don't need that anymore, so just move that over there. And I can add a selection. Now the selection sadly is not live. You can't modify, there's no live selection. If you go to layer and now you could, I guess, use masks, but again, not problem, they're not live. Still got the same problem. So just gonna go to selection and you've got options here for feather as well as invert. I'm gonna use that in a sec. So first thing to do, just go over here to rectangle marquee tool and then just select around the image. And I'm just, I could do that or I can deselect that and I can maybe make it a bit there. Once you've done that, what you need to do is go to select, gain the select menu, and invert pixel selection. Because what I want is this edge. Don't want the, obviously the photo, I could blur the photo of course, but I want the edge to be blurred. Also, I'm just gonna add a bit of feathering as well, which of course is also not live. So you can just go there, select and feather, and you can vary it. Now it always defaults, sadly, to zero. And then runs to that, so it would be nice if it just remembered what the last one was. So I'm just gonna to go to about 150, 100, that sort of thing. Click apply. So you've got that. What you can then do is you can go to layer menu and new live filter layer. And you can go to blur, and of course there's a whole range of other blurs there. But I'm just gonna go for a very basic one, Gaussian blur. So Gaussian blur, bring that up so you can see that. And you've got radius. And what you can do, you can push that up to blur it. So you go to 100, but actually you can type in 200 and it will let you blur that. However, the slider doesn't go up to 200. So you've got that also, of course, you've got blending modes. If you want to use blending modes as well, perfectly reasonable. Now you can close that. And now what you can do, you can remove the selection. I don't want the selection anymore. So select menu and deselect. Now what you got here is the layers panel. And this is the key thing because what happens, say you want to go over here, you select that and then you move, move things around. What you're moving, you don't a transformation, you're moving the Gaussian blur. Now I don't want to do that. I want to move the blur, the background. So click the background there and now you can move it around and resize. So you can resize it, rotate, reposition it and you see you've got this live blur it's still there and can be modified and that's the key thing just change that not the Gaussian blur now if you want to change the Gaussian blur once you've done some transformations what you can do just go to the Gaussian blur just make certain that's double click and it will bring up the thing you've got the setting there and what you can then do is you can reduce it and again you can type in if you want 200, or you can go for, now that's not so elegant, you've got a line there, so maybe about 130, and you can see you've got that lovely blurred edge. And again, you can close that. So it's live, you can modify it, obviously within a reasonable constraint, because of course the selection you've created defines it as well, so it's not completely live as an edge. But there you have it, a nice blurred, and I'll just move that out of the way, you can see your blurred design. Again, you can see the problem. If you've got that selected, that moves that around, which is not so ideal. You might not want that, but you can just put it back to the same position, just there. And of course, if that's the effect you want, say you just want it to be more on one side than the other, you can do that, of course. So you can move that around. 
then you just go back to the background and then move that around. And of course, the blur will move relative as well. So again, rotate and move that around. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Finity Photo, Finity Designer, Photoshop, Illustrator, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. If you think there is a much better way of doing this, please let me know. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. Also, a dislike or a like. Thank you much.